Hi, I'm Martin Capel, Game Director for Assassin's Creed Rogue, and today we'll be taking a look at some of the new Templar gameplay in action. In this video we will meet Shay Patrick Cormack, an assassin turned Templar who vows to bring down the Brotherhood in the New World, and see him in action using a range of new weapons, tools and tactics to hunt down an assassin and capture a gang headquarters. This is the River Valley, our brand new location that provides the first truly hybrid gameplay bringing naval and land together in one seamless world and experience. The River Valley is set in the American interior, where the colonial forces of Britain and France fought for supremacy during the Seven Years' War, and the waterways were a lifeline for both nations. Shea's ship, the Morrigan, is equipped with the most advanced weaponry for its day. First of all, we see the carronades, Front cannons that fire explosive shots able to damage and stun enemy ships. Then we move in to finish off our opponents with the ram. Besides its weaponry, the Morrigan is also faster and more maneuverable than the Jackdaw from Assassin's Creed 4, allowing you to turn tighter and avoid enemy fire more efficiently. The Morrigan also features puckle guns, 18th century machine guns that you can use in free aim mode to target weak spots and engage smaller ships with deadly effect. And if you find yourself being chased, then you can use another Templar tactic, the burning oil barrels. They slow down enemy ships and deal a great amount of damage. With the enemy ships destroyed, we can now proceed with taking over the gang headquarters. As you can see from the minimap, the area is shaded in orange. This indicates that the headquarters and the area surrounding it are controlled by gangs loyal to the assassins, a collection of lawless criminals and privateers who fight the colonial powers for dominance in the new world. As you step ashore, you will see the objectives you need to complete to take control of the headquarters. To destroy the barrels of poison gas, to cut down the assassin flag, and to kill the gang leader, the assassin. Shea's new arsenal includes an air rifle and grenade launcher. The grenade launcher uses a range of area effect ammunition types, such as the sleep grenade, while the air rifle offers more precision. As you move through the trees, you can hear whispers in the background. This is Shay's eagle sense telling him there is a stalker nearby. Stalkers are masters of ambush who can hide and even launch air assassinations against you. But Shay is able to turn the tables on his opponent. In Rogue, we encourage players to use all the tools at their disposal to manipulate people and to create confusion and diversion. So now we are moving in on the first of our objectives, a barrel of poison gas. Shea climbs the building to shoot the gunner with a sleep dart, then moves across to neutralize him. Using a firecracker dart, Shea splits the barrel, spilling its contents and affecting those people closest to it. Moving on to the next barrel, this time we will get in close. For Rogue, we have improved the navigation, making it easier to access high places and to move around freely and fluidly. As the barrel breaks, Shea uses his gas mask to protect himself. The gas mask is proof against smoke bombs and all other poisons provided you equip in time. Hold there. Moving into the heart of the gang headquarters, let's destroy the third and final barrel to complete our first objective. A 
Again, Shay uses a firecracker dart to destroy the barrel. This time you can see a prisoner being affected by the gas and join in the fight. An injured guard using a smoke bomb and guards coming in to attack the berserked enemies and becoming berserked themselves. With the poison barrels destroyed, let's move on. Our next target is the Assassin. These are the most effective enemies in Rogue. Switching on Eagle Vision, we can see that it is nearby, so let's proceed with caution. The Assassin delivers a devastating strike and throws a smoke bomb to disorientate Shay. But Shay uses his gas mask to negate the effects of the smoke and gives chase. The Assassin shoots Shay and calls in reinforcements to his aid. Using one of his enemies as a shield against the gunner, Shay deals with these guards and resumes the hunt for the assassin. The compass and eagle vision shows us that the assassin is behind this building. So going up high we can launch another attack. This time, the assassin uses smoke to try and stun you while he and his men attack. But with his guards defeated, the assassin flees again. In his attempts to kill you, the assassin is even able to use the environment against you, such as shooting barrels of gunpowder. Finally, Shay takes to the rooftops to chase the assassin down and succeeds in eliminating him using an air assassination. With the assassin neutralized, the final objective is to tear down the symbol of gang control, their flag. As he throws the flag onto the fire, Shay completes his conquest of the gang headquarters. We hope you've enjoyed this latest glimpse into Assassin's Creed Rogue and we look forward to you joining us and Shay in his epic adventure. Assassin's Creed Rogue Pre-order now to receive the Siege of Fort Desaba mission and the Ultimate Hunter Pack. Pre-order now, available November 11th, exclusively on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3.